Welcome back to the Anti-Aging Channel, where every week we dive into science by ways to live longer and healthier. Today we're tackling a hot topic of debate among longevity enthusiasts, and that's the subject of longevity pharmaceuticals versus supplements. What's the difference, and more importantly, which are more effective? Let's find out. Now, I'm already at a bit of an advantage when it comes to answering this one. Because over the years, in my capacity as a longevity researcher, I've personally experimented with every well-known longevity pharmaceutical out there, as well as a few lesser known ones. All I might add, totally legally and under the guidance of a suitably qualified medical doctor. Neither am I inexperienced when it comes to the subject of supplements. I've been taking them on a daily basis for over 40 years now, and I've even written a best-selling book on the subject. So for the purposes of this comparison, I doubt there's many more qualified than myself to make judgment. And we're going to kick things off with a brief look at the difference between the two classes of compound. Longevity pharmaceuticals are basically prescription medications that target biological processes to delay aging. Two examples of such meds are rapamycin and metformin. However, as is the case with all longevity drugs, they must be prescribed off-label, since currently none are officially approved for the treatment of aging. And they're just actually repurposed medications. So it's important to understand that no purpose-to-side prescription longevity medications actually yet exist. In my opinion, the closest thing we currently have to a purpose-designed longevity medication would have to be bioidentical hormones intended for replacement therapy, such as testosterone, estrogen, and natural thyroid. Because when levels of these vital hormones fall too low in later life, aging is accelerated. But as soon as we boost these age-related hormonal deficiencies to more youthful levels, positive physical and mental transformations begin to take place. Now, if that's not an anti-aging drug, then I don't know what is. Currently, the most popular prescription pharmaceuticals being used to slow or reverse aging include metformin, rapamycin, 17-alpha-estradiol, selegiline, tadalafil, and various bioidentical hormones. And a heads up for 2025, as the channel will be giving more coverage to both current and emerging longevity medications. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if that's of interest to you. The biggest hurdle to pass if you want to explore the world of longevity pharmaceuticals is to first find yourself a progressive doctor willing to prescribe and monitor your results. Or alternatively, you could just opt to use the services at one of the many anti-aging clinics now found in major cities across the world. However, you will be paying a premium for these services, so do bear that in mind. Next, let's discuss what defines a longevity supplement. Supplements, on the other hand, are over-the-counter products designed to fill nutritional gaps or enhance certain biological processes. Some popular ones for longevity include NMN, resveratrol, and spermidine. Now, although supplements don't go through the same level of testing as drugs do before being brought to market, what we do tend to find is that the most popular longevity supplements are also the ones with considerable peer-reviewed study data backing up their claims. Currently, the most popular longevity supplements include creatine, collagen peptides, NMN, and vitamin D3. However, with literally hundreds of different supplements out there, many claiming exactly the same effects, it can be a minefield if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, that is. And if that is the case, then you'll find my recent video upload is exactly what you're looking for. Watch it to find my best supplement picks from each and every category. Next, we're going to discuss the various pros and cons when comparing longevity pharmaceuticals to supplements. And following that, I'll present my conclusions, including how I personally achieve maximum results while minimizing any potential risks. The debate comparing longevity drugs to longevity supplements centers on their effectiveness, mechanisms of action, regulation, and accessibility. So here's my breakdown of the pros and cons of each. Longevity drugs are essentially pharmaceutical compounds that target specific pathways or diseases associated with aging. And with that come several advantages that the best longevity drugs may have over supplements. For example, drugs are typically designed to target specific biological pathways, potentially offering greater precision of action and often having more potent and direct effects compared to supplements since they're specifically designed for therapeutic purposes. And of course, prescription medications must undergo rigorous clinical trials providing evidence of their efficacy and safety. 
And since pharmaceuticals are produced under stringent regulatory oversight, consistent quality and safety is ensured. But more importantly, do they actually work? Now, if the question is, can they improve your health in certain scenarios, then the answer is yes. The data indicates that they most certainly can. However, if the question is, can they extend your life? Then the answer is we simply don't know yet, even though the data does look very promising for several compounds. And that's because long-term human studies monitoring the longevity effects of this new breed of pharmaceuticals is still in their infancy. So do watch this space for updates and please make sure you're subscribed. There are, of course, several disadvantages that longevity drugs have compared with supplements. Due to their potency, longevity drugs can come with significant risks and adverse effects. One example that comes to mind would be the potential for unwanted immune suppression with the popular longevity med rapamycin. The more powerful the medication, the more likely it is to become a dosaging balancing act, taking just enough to elicit a positive response, but without promoting any negative effects. Then of course, there's the fact that longevity drugs do require a prescription, adding barriers to access and necessitating a physician's involvement, all of which can result in considerable expense. But perhaps the biggest deciding factor for some will be the fact that since the use of these drugs for longevity effects is relatively new, the long-term effects of longevity dosages are still being evaluated. There's numerous longevity supplements on the market and from an ever-increasing number of brands. These include compounds such as NAD precursors NR and NMN, along with creatine, spermidine, berberine, and a mountain of other longevity supplements, all marketed for the potential to slow aging and improve health span. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it can be a nightmare to know what really works and therefore what to buy. Therefore, please don't forget to watch my video on screen now, which reveals the best supplement choices in each category. And just before we move on, here's an exclusive 10% discount code for my favorite supplement brand, Do Not Age. And that code will work with all products, including subscriptions and special offers. All the products are independently lab tested and really are the purest I've found bar none. And that's why I buy them. The capsules are also totally filler free, which is a rare thing these days. Just check almost any supplement bottle label and look at all the unnecessary additional ingredients in there. And the worst thing is, in most cases, they're only in there to keep manufacturing costs down. Bottom line, if it's not a health promoting ingredient, what the hell is it doing in there? This time round, we're first going to look at where supplements lose out compared to longevity drugs, then we'll take a look at where they went over. Many supplements lack the robust clinical trials required for drugs, so their efficacy is often less certain. Which is why it's so important to research supplements before you buy. Then there's the uncomfortable truth that there are more than a few unscrupulous brands out there guilty of marketing their supplements with exaggerated claims, thereby creating unrealistic expectations. Then there's the fact that unlike prescription meds, supplements are not tightly regulated, leading to variability in quality, purity, and labeling accuracy. Another reason why it's so important to only buy your supplements from trusted brands. Just check out any of my recent supplement lab test videos and you'll see that some products tested actually contain none of the claimed ingredients at all. Truly shocking. Lastly, although not really a negative, is the fact that compared to longevity drugs, supplements typically have less targeted and weaker effects. However, that's also a reason why supplements are generally safer with less potential for unwanted side effects. Next, let's discuss the advantages longevity supplements possess compared to their pharmaceutical counterparts. Longevity supplements have several advantages over their pharmaceutical counterparts. The most obvious being that they don't require a doctor's prescription and can be readily purchased online or over the counter from health food stores the world over. They're also generally less expensive than pharmaceutical drugs, making them more affordable for long-term use and are easier to integrate into daily routines without needing medical supervision. Longevity supplements, although considered free of side effects, are obviously not immune to them, as is the case with virtually everything we ingest. However, any side effects experienced are likely to be very mild and transient. Over my four decades of experimenting with supplements, I've never experienced a single serious side effect ever, even at extremely elevated dosages. So stick with the label recommendations and there should be no issues ever. But of course, the most important question is, do longevity supplements actually work? 
And just as when we ask the same question of longevity pharmaceuticals, the answer is still a yes, but. Yes, many supplements do very effectively support general health and wellness, which in itself promotes a longer life. And yes, the best longevity supplements do indeed target specific aging pathways. But to date, for obvious reasons, supplements have only ever been shown to extend lifespan in animals. However, for me, that's good enough for now. What's your thoughts on the matter? Let us know in the comments. So here's how I see it. No one should consider taking longevity drugs as a first step on the longevity ladder, even under the guidance of a medical professional. These repurposed medications should really only be considered after we're fully committed to optimizing our nutrition, exercise, sleep, and supplements. We first need to get our lifestyle optimized, then and only then should we think about experimenting with longevity drugs and always, always under the supervision of a suitably qualified medical professional. Now, as far as supplements go, keep it simple. Buy the very best quality you can afford and always select the best products from each category. For example, for skin and connective tissue, the best products available are collagen peptides and oral hyaluronic acid. Well, the best product for inducing autophagy is spermidine. Shopping for supplements is so much easier when you know exactly what you're looking for first, because then all you have to worry about is your budget. So get informed now and don't delay fine tuning your supplement stack for optimal results. And don't forget to watch the video I mentioned earlier where I reveal the best products from every category, making your supplement decisions that much easier. And you'll find a link to that in the video description. Many thanks for watching and as always, take care, be healthy, and I'll see you again soon.